In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to remove and install a new toilet. So, let's go jump in Black Betty and go for a ride. So here we are. Now, we've already unboxed the toilet, but now I've got to start at home. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is unplug my toilet. I know that sounds funny, but as you see, I've got a bidet toilet seat on here. Now, it's not gonna work on the other toilet. The other one's a round front, which is what you get with cheaper toilets. This one is an elongated. So what we're gonna do is two things. First of all, we're gonna turn the water off. I'm gonna flush it to get all the water out of the tank, or as much out of it as I can. And now I have unplugged my toilet. So, you can look down in here, I'm gonna flush it again. All right, so I flushed it, no water in the tank, or got as much of it out as I can. Now what we'll do, Bring out the little wet vac. There is no easier way. Now looking down in here, there's a little bit of water left in the tank, so I'm gonna set I'm gonna set this lid aside. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take my toilet bolts off because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this toilet, set it aside where I can get it out of the way. Now, if you notice, these are 5 sixteenths toilet bolts. That is all that I use. I think the little quarter inch bolts are way too flimsy. They're okay, but I just, if I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it right. I think the 5 16 bolts are the way to go. So the last thing to do is disconnect the water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set, I don't even know where to look. I'm gonna go ahead and set a rag up under there just to make sure any water that does drip, I catch and don't make a mess. So I'm gonna slide something right under there, undo the flex line where it goes into the tank, and then I'm ready to pull this and set it aside. Okay. 
You bring me a rag, Randy? It can literally just be anything from paper towels to a shop rag over by the door. Now, we got just a little bit of water out of it, probably less than an ounce, but we caught it so we know we don't have any problems. Now, one thing that I do now, I wanna go ahead and bring my bowl wax in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna go a regular size, not a deep one, which I do have just in case. But what I do here, is open up my box because that gives me something to set the toilet up. So if you look at the toilet, my flange is right here, that center. So that's where my bowl wax is. So I wanna line this up right on it. Now I'm gonna come out a little bit because I'm not gonna hold it quite as close to the wall. But I know that when I set my toilet down, I wanna make sure that my center is right here. That way the wax is right there on that cardboard. I don't have to worry about anything else unless you brought anything else for that. Sometime, I'll do that. Let me, while we're doing this as one can't take, are we? Now, with this bidet seat, you wanna make sure you reach in and grab the bowl really good. Wobble it, come up. and straight across. Now the good thing is, I'm sitting on that cardboard right now, so I know I'm not getting any wax on the floor or anything like that. I'm gonna slide this over all the way and get ready to clean this up. Yeah, Randy, if you'll go ahead and hand me the... Don't leave now, Squirt. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades. So, I'm a little bit different plumber than most. I've actually done commercial, residential, industrial, service, new construction, and I've been union and non-union. I've also grown and sold yeah, a plumbing for to get So this it was off. really neat when I teamed up with Jobber to help us learn how to use their softwares to help us grow a business and it has paid off amazing so make sure you check out what we did with jobber on their shop talk on their youtube channel check out the link in the bio and description you're gonna love it i'm roger wakefield lead ap welcome to shop talk i call this the shop once we get out here this is normally working with tools i think every plumber needs to have a sewer camera that works great. You invest in good relational marketing. They're gonna make your phone ring. And to me, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Looking at the way the toilet did not sit on this wax all the way around, it looks like it touched it but didn't quite sit on it good. I'm gonna use a deeper wax. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, I'm not real worried about that other wax. I can use that for locating slab leaks. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this wax off. And this flange does not look great, but I'm gonna only have this toilet on here for about a month. Next month, it looks like I'll be doing a video on changing a flange. Or putting a repair ring on. Really, the flange doesn't look too bad. The coating is just coming off of it. The flange is in good condition all the way around. Starting to pull up a little bit here.
Randy, will you get the extra long needle nose out of the drawer in the kitchen? And that flashlight, Randy. I may not need it, but... It's not much, but I hate leaving anything that I dropped down in there. Now looking at the flange, it's attached all the way around. The outside edge of it is trying to pull up a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's too terrible. So I'm gonna leave this for now. Like I said, this toilet is gonna be replaced in about a month. I wanna put it in here for one month just to see how it does. That's why we're doing this. To be honest, I don't see any problems with it, but do you see how big this opening is? That little two, two and a half inch trap is gonna sit right down inside here. I do like bigger ones, but we'll be fine. All right. You got any kind of spray cleaner that I can just spray on this and it doesn't have to be anything crazy just and actually you know what ready don't think about that
All right, let's go ahead and get this old toy out of here. I'm just trying to get it out of here. Yeah. Here We got toilet bolts right here. Okay, correct that. We got two bolts and one nut. There we go. Love his little lock washers on there. I wish this was scratch and sniff. Y'all could smell the breeze coming up through this toilet flange. Now, if I was a homeowner, if I was talking to the homeowner or a homeowner changing this myself, I'd probably go ahead and cut this flange off now. Just because it is starting to deteriorate, it's gonna be good for me for a month, but I would wanna go ahead and change this out. If I was a plumber talking to a homeowner in a house, that's something that I would definitely recommend right now. Now, I am going with the thick bowl wax this time putting it on the bowl and you all push it to where it'll stay you want to look try to get it as centered up as you can so right there it's good it's gonna stay there water lines back out of the way I've got my bolts locked down to where they're sticking up right where I want them At this point, line it up on your bolt. And your bolts are centered on your flange. Now one thing when picking out a toilet, you want to make sure a 12 inch or 10 inch rough, you want to know how far your flange is off the wall 
to the center of here. That's where your center of your flange is. But you want to make sure your toilet is a 10 inch or 12 inch rough also. And I know this will only be here for a month because it's a small round front. I really don't like those. And I don't have a round front bidet toilet seat. So I just lost my bidet toilet seat. So I've got everything on here lined up, ready to go. Randy, will you open up the, well here, hand me the tank in here too. And I didn't even think about turning down the AC or anything. What I'm looking for is the tank to bowl bolt. Okay. I'm sorry, the, the caps. The caps. Oh. That was, I've got to get the, no, oh, the, the you, you know what? Yeah, the, and Randy, they may be in the bowl box, not the tank box. There they are. Now, you wanna get your china caps, your washers, you wanna make sure you put them right side up. And if you look at them, it says on it, this side up. Put your washer on top of it, slide it down over your bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. And then run your nuts down. Now there's a different way to do these. A lot of plumbers will take a grout mix and put up under here. A lot of them will just caulk it. Now me, if this was a customer's house, I would caulk it, but I would leave the very back open. That way, if there was any leak at all, it would come out in the back and people would see it. Then it could be addressed before it caused problems. You want to be careful too, tightening these down. This is where, and I've seen a lot of good plumbers crack a bowl. You tighten it down until it starts to get snug. You don't have to get these super tight. That wax is going to hold it. I've got a little bit of wobble here, so I want to tighten it up just a little bit more. a little bit but I'm firm on the front and back so what I may do is I may go ahead and put a wedge in or if I wanted to caulk it I can make sure that I get it in back here to help keep it level and not any problem. Used to plumbers would take pennies and slide a penny up under there because it's copper it's not gonna it's not gonna corrode or anything. I'll put a wedge under there before I get done but it's tight enough I got just a little bit of a wobble but it's so much the rest of it feels tight. I can't get it to move any other way. So I'm gonna call that good. Now what I could do is go ahead and cut it now and put my caps on. You may need to cut this down. I've got some mini cutters here to do that with, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my tank on. That way I can get this ready to go.
Now your washer, you wanna make sure you get down all the way around your nut. This is where you're gonna change out your flush valve if you ever have a problem. Take this off and change out that big nut right here. You make sure that goes all the way down. And it's gonna set right there. So let me get my tank to bowl bolts in here. I'll be good to go. So what I've done, stuck my washers in from the top, stuck my bolts in. As you see, it pushes these washers out where well, they won't pull back up now. So I'm good. All I've got to do is get my nuts on the bottom, get everything lined up, tighten this thing up. You got me a... Uh... I love this little nut runner they've got for it. At this point here is I'm snugging it up. I'm doing two different things. I'm looking down here. I want the front edge of the tank to sit on the front rim of the bowl. But I also want to check, I also want to check this. Go ahead and let me get a wedge in here. That's what we pull out. I'm going to see where we're at. Okay. And I'm looking at level where my front edge is down, so I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of a wedge in here for right now. And now it doesn't move. Beautiful. All right, so what I'm looking at is the front edge. I want the front edge of my tank to set down on the front edge of the bowl. The front, the bowl's got piece that's designed for the front edge of that tank to set up. That way it doesn't move. Now while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and connect my water. Now if I didn't already know that this water line was only a few months old, I would change it out. But I know I'm good here. Nothing's moving. Everything's tight. Everything is square. I lined it up before I tightened everything up. So I know that we're really, really good. Before I put the tank on, before I put the seat on, while I'm here, I've already tightened up my water supply line. I've already tightened up my T-bolts to the flange. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on
for two reasons. Number one, it keeps the sewer gas smell from blowing up like it was. And number two, I can check anything for... Damn, that's too hot, just like the plumber. So I can check... I've got another one in my truck. I just don't know if it's got a good battery in it. I brought two. I don't know if you can see it up from here, but the water level came all the way up to the top. So I want to actually lower that. So I'm going to let some of this water out. I don't want to flush it all the way yet. Okay, that brought it down about a half inch. I want to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. So again, I'm going to let some of the water out and let it fill back up. Now, I like that. That's got me about one inch below the top of the flush valve. All right, so now, not a good flush. I need to adjust that float. I got a dead flush, but I had to hold it up a second, so I definitely need to adjust my float some. Okay. See what that does. I got it to come up just a little bit. You've really got to unplug these floats where they plug them into the chain and lock them down. But it should bring that up pretty good. And if you ever need to order replacement parts for inside your tank or anything, you should be able to look at these numbers on the inside and it can tell you exactly what part to replace it with. Everything from the fill valve to the flush valve to the flapper, all of it. All right, I believe that got it. All right, so I'm gonna do two things now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top off the toilet bolts.
Now, last thing I'm going to do is put the tank lid on. And I would have put the seat on, but it wasn't in the complete kit. So I need to go back and check, was I supposed to order a seat or was it supposed to come with it? Now, this is how to install a toilet. Like I said, there's things that I might have done different had I not known it was only going to be in here for a month or had I not known how long things were. So the next time we change this out, we'll be changing out the flange ring and putting on the new supply line. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll definitely love that one.